Hey, I'm here with my son Caleb, and today we are going to talk about the biology CLEP exam. So you may be able to tell that uh, Caleb wasn't a huge fan of the biology CLEP, but did you pass it? Barely. He did pass it. So if you guys uh, haven't seen it already, go ahead and check out my college composition review that I did with Caleb. Um, and if you want to find out more from his perspective about how that exam was. But today we're talking about the biology club exam. So in our house, we shoot to do biology ninth grade year. So Caleb did it two years ago. He studied biology. You're in 11th grade now. Worst day of my life. I've had a pretty easy life. So uh, for, as far as the curriculum went for ninth grade curriculum, we used um, Apology of Biology for our curriculum. Not the advanced biology, but just the regular biology. This is uh, what the book looks like now. Only, only flipped around. It's going to be, the, uh, yeah, so the, yeah. the one with the giraffe, okay? But he used the older edition. So my ninth grader this year is using the new edition, but we used the, the second edition. I am finding that the third edition does seem to be a little easier maybe, so we have yet to find out if the edition matters as far as preparing for the CLEP exam. So we used uh, the second edition biology book of Apologia, and at the same time, luckily, we used Apologia Health and Nutrition. And this actually was really important because we found that there was a lot of anatomy on the CLEP, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of anatomy. Yeah, well, it talks about the blood and that stuff. And see, with biology, it's like basically the anatomy of every living thing on the planet. But it doesn't really talk about our anatomy, which is a lot of what the club cares about. And so this talks about that with, like, the blood. Right. And stuff. So that actually was really important. We didn't even know until we came to actually really prep for the CLEP after the curriculum was done how important it was that we did health and biology at the same time. So unless you have a really rigorous biology curriculum that goes in depth or maybe even the Apologia Advanced Anatomy book, um, you would do well to do health at the same time if you can. So um, pretty necessary. <laughs> aside from doing the, those curricula for ninth grade, then when it came to CLEP prep specifically, we did a few other things. So do you want to talk about that? Yes, we did the CLEP prep website. Did you already mention that? freeclepprep.com. If you guys haven't checked it out, they have study guides for a lot of the CLEPs, and that was yeah. really helpful. You got to go through all of it. Like, <clears throat> you kind of just review the material over and over until you know that you're seeing the same things over and over again, and then you go for it. Because there's no way you're going to be able to know every single thing. So unless you, can... you really love biology, like, you probably can tell Caleb did not love biology. He's not really a science person, okay? So if you like biology, you like anatomy, your student is interested in, like, nursing or something like that, um, they may enjoy it. I watched all of the Crash Course videos at least two or three times, so that probably helped. Uh, Modern States was a little less helpful. Otherwise, uh, going into it, bringing a coin, that's pretty helpful. You can narrow it down if you're not sure. Just heads or tails, A or B, C or D, flip it, and then you can choose between those two. You know, test-taking strategies are important. Lots of studying and restudying the same thing. And going through that free CLEP prep study guide, we started that, I think, three days before he actually went in to take the CLEP. And we followed all of his links and studied everything. I remember there was a big emphasis on cellular respiration and understanding all of those concepts, um, a lot about ecosystems, food chain. Um, if you just take a look at the different percentages that comprise the CLEP exam, you can pretty much break it down from there and see the areas that are more heavily weighted on the exam. So any other thoughts? I'll put my score out there. It was a 52. That's all you need to pass, though. So... Um, yep, yeah. two points above failure, but it, yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's a win. And, you know, especially in our um, school system, it's worth six credits. So it's, um, it's still a huge accomplishment. And the nice thing about CLEP is that it really doesn't matter as long as you get above that 50, which is what most schools look for. Check with your school, though. There can be some variety in the score that they'll accept for college credit. So for us, it was a 50. And so it worked out great. Yay! That's it. So thanks for checking it out, guys, and leave your comments or questions or ideas for new videos, things that you're interested in finding out more about with CLEP, homeschooling, post-secondary education and enrollment options. I, I would say, too, that if there's an alternative, take that alternative.
I don't know. I have <laughs> heard do I heard that the you. chemistry club is actually one of the most difficult clubs out there. So if you're looking for a science club, I think that you, biology is the way to go for CLEP unless you want to take like the environmental science DSST exam. All right. Thanks for listening, watching.